Today I'm joined by David Messina, the Managing Director of White Bark Energy. David, welcome. Thank you. So David, tell me about White Bark Energy. White Bark's a junior oil and gas company. We're based here in Perth, uh, but we have assets in Canada uh, and also in the Perth Basin in Western Australia. And I understand that production at Wizard Lake is underway. Can you tell me about this project? Yes, we started at Wizard Lake towards the end of last year and we drilled a discovery well through the Christmas period. Um, and uh, we're very fortunate. The well came in uh, and proved the concept uh, of the oil field. Uh, and we've spent uh, about three months building some facilities and we brought that well on uh, about 30 days ago and we're very excited with the results and we're looking forward to producing more oil. So, what's next at Wizard Lake? Well, more wells of course. Um, the, the pool itself uh, has the capacity for up to 18 wells uh, and because we're so positive about what we've been seeing so far, uh, we'll actually be spudding the next well in the next two to three weeks. Uh, and then after that, uh, we'll continue to drill wells, uh, we'll develop the field fully, we'll build for more facilities, uh, some more storage, and we'll produce more oil. Very exciting times for the company. And White Bark fully owns one of Australia's largest onshore gas fields in Warro. What's the latest with this project? This has been the legacy asset uh, for the company uh, before we moved to Canada. Um, it was in a joint venture with Alcoa. Uh, nearly $100 million was spent uh, on the field. Uh, and then a couple of years ago, uh, the state government here in Western Australia put a moratorium on fracking and it really has uh, put a stop to that particular development, uh, hence our move to Canada. Uh, the good news is the moratorium has been lifted and we're just in the process with industry, of course, of, of developing uh, new regulations with the state government and we're hoping we'll be focusing back on Warro in 2020. What's next for White Park? Well, the next uh, 12 to 18 months will be all about Wizard Lake in Canada. Uh, we are going to be busy drilling more wells, uh, as I mentioned, uh, bringing on more oil and generating more cash. And then that's going to give us a lot more flexibility to not only increase the size of that asset and, and others that we have in Canada, but also set us up, obviously, to, uh, to start to move on our Warro campaign uh, towards the end of next year. Thanks very much for coming in today, David. It's a pleasure. Thank you.